Okay, uh, good evening all. I hope you can hear me. So today we are going to again continue with information systems. So far we have done uh, the first topic that is introduction to uh, or the information system concepts and technologies and also we did some uh, skill gap uh, those for those who have not done O level ICT and also for those who have not done A level ICT. Uh, we did some skill gap topics last time okay uh, i think uh, we did it for two weeks now we are moving to our original topics again so today we are going to cover the uh, second topic okay, second topic uh, that is uh, information systems for organizations and uh, globalization okay so before moving to information systems for organizations and globalization what we are going to do is because later we have so many subjects like project management rapid software development management e-business right so all those subjects are related to business okay so if you don't understand what is a business uh, you you will not be able to uh, you are not in a very good position to take decisions when it comes to uh, developing systems uh, making networks etc because it's not all technical decisions we have to take uh, some of the decisions are uh, related to business so we have to take decisions for the best interest of the business that we are developing a system or we are developing a, uh, any other thing okay so therefore it's very very important that you understand uh, what is mean by business organization uh, in the current context right in the current political economics context so that is what is mean by globalization okay so that is what we are going to discuss today okay so don't take these topics lightly if you understand these topics it's very easy to understand uh, your semester 2 semester 3 etc okay so i have I think I have uploaded the uh, document to the Google Classroom. If not, I will be uploading it again. Uh, sorry, I will I will be uploading. It. By the way, I uploaded all the reference uh, books. Okay, for all the reference books I uploaded to the Google Classroom. So every subject, for every subject, uh, at the top you have the syllabus now. Then you have the reference. For example, if you take information systems. Uh, you have the syllabus then you have uh, for information system they have mentioned three reference books so reference books are uh, mentioned in the syllabus like for example if you take this one the reference books are mentioned here the reference one reference two and reference three okay so since you are attending a class it is not a must to read right so i i, I have to tell this it is not a must to read but it's always good to read those reference books and again don't read those reference books like your school uh, books okay right you you had set of books in your up to grade 10 so don't read these books like that just read this book uh, leisurely right leisurely when you have time right you can skip some topics right uh, likewise so what what is known as you had to just skim through it I don't uh, spend a lot of time of course if it is really interest for you because there are some students who are interested in certain certain areas then of course take a lot of times and read it right off but otherwise you just go through it a little bit faster otherwise you will not be able to read most of the books because for example if you take uh, say principles of information systems uh, I think it is more than thousand pages Right. So this is principles of information systems uh, ebook. Uh, yes, it's close. No, it's about uh, six six hundred dot pages, right? So then, what I am telling is, don't you don't have to read everything. Also, if you feel like no, this is not relevant to uh, our syllabus, you can just skip it, right? For example, uh, so just give me one minute until this document is fully loaded. Right. So here you have the introduction to information systems. So you can see this is pretty much the syllabus. Right. This is pretty much the syllabus. Uh, this is main reference book. Uh, 
the here you can see introduction to information uh, information systems uh, perspective that is what in your syllabus they have mentioned it as uh, information system concepts and technologies then you have the information systems organizations and globalization you can see in the reference book because this is the main reference book uh, there also you have information uh, sorry second one information technology concepts then business information systems okay uh, then finally you have something like uh, planning acquiring and building system so that is your final topic actually uh, information system acquisition so likewise some other topics uh, they are they have referred to some other references right for example you can see that for each and every topic i don't know how many of you have gone through the syllabus right so this is not grade 5 shishatta class right so this is not a uh, that kind of a class this is not o level class this is not a level class this is you have to drive right you have to drive uh, we are just guiding you we are just helping you okay so don't think that uh, you are coming here to learn everything no we are just helping you facilitating you so it's your task okay so you can see for each topic they have reference one they have even mentioned the page numbers just to make it e uh, easier for you but it doesn't mean that you have to just read those pages but when you are reading first leisurely read the book just like reading a novel or whatever if it is boring you can read quickly if it is interesting you can read slowly right so that is fine that is fine so then you have a very good idea about the subject right so sometimes you may be able to read uh, say 100 pages in just two hours because you are not going to read each and every page very slowly sometimes you are reading very fast sometimes you are skipping pages that is fine right this is that is how you study right uh, and of course then when you are then of course you have to read our notes also so basically we have read the books most of the books and we have extracted the concepts and we have made it a little very concise okay and also you will get another set of notes in your VLE also right for example still you haven't got the VLE VLE in the sense the university VLE access so there are also you have notes so those notes also I am going to upload because still you haven't got the access for example if you take So this is how you connect to your university VLE once you get the access, uh, pretty soon you are going to get it, okay. So you will be given a username and password, okay. Uh, then you have to log into the uh, system, okay. So once you log into the system, uh, so you will be able to access the nodes. So I will show you the nodes first, that some, what kind of nodes you are going to get there. in the university VLE okay anyway I will be uploading those notes uh, definitely within next week then you have everything you need okay so yeah so something like this uh, Right. So you will get these kind of PDF files, but those are very brief, right? Very minimum is there. So what we have done is we have gone through these notes plus your reference books, not every reference book, uh, some reference books and the relevant chapters and we have put up another note. So you now at the end when you are preparing for your exam, you have these university notes. Right? Yeah, I will be uploading these notes also because then you have everything. And also remember you have the exams uh, July, right? It's not far away because of this Corona issue, your uh, semester started delayed. It doesn't mean that your exams are going to be delayed, right? So usually exams are conducted in May, but this time they have made it just July and this is end of March now, April, May, June, just three months, okay? Just three months is there. So therefore don't think that still you haven't got the registration. 
तेरे हर की लिवर आई सो दैट इज वाई आई अपलोडेड ऑल द रेफरेंस बुक्स ऑल्सो सो आई विल बी अपलोडिंग ऑल द वी एल ई नोट्स ऑल्सो दे आर फो देन यू डो यू आर नॉट डिपेंडिंग ऑन द यूनिवर्सिटी एट ऑल यू कैन इंडिपेंडेंट डू विथ लेट द रजिस्ट्रेशन गो वेरी स्लोली इट डजेंट मैटर राइट सो दैट इज द नॉर्मल सिनारो इन एवरी इयर द फर्स्ट इयर रजिस्ट्रेशन आर ऑलवेज गेट इन डिलेट ड्यू वेरियस रीजन स्टिल द एलेवल रिसर्स आर ऑल्सो नॉट रिलीज सो दे आर फो बट इट डजेंट मीन दैट यू एक्साम्स आर गोइंग टू बी delay not at all okay so therefore you just have around 3 to 4 months right so little bit more than 3 months to uh, for the exams okay because all of a sudden once you get the registration uh, it, in 2 weeks time they are going to say apply for the exams so there will be a re- notice in the B- uh, BLE and the BIT website apply for the website uh, exams then uh, the, the exam dates and all those will be actually we know the exam dates uh, tentative exam dates so that is why i told you that your exams will be on july right so everything is already scheduled so therefore now you have to be little bit serious right so now you are familiar with the structure i, I so i i have uploaded all the reference books i am uploading the you know, our notes and i will be uploading all the vld notes also uh, by next week so then you have to uh, gradually start doing your uh, your stuff right don't take it as a pressure or whatever just do it leisurely enjoy your studies okay right so i will be uploading all these uh, slides as well right so today what we are going to do is uh, this second topic uh, information systems for organizations and globalization so right we are going to discuss a lot of things like uh, the strategic use of it business information value chain right so information technology for strategic advantages etc etc return on investment complementary assets challenges and ethics in it environment globalization digital divide cultural eth- ethical and political challenges the global business and it strategy so some of these things we discussed uh, previously also remember we discussed about it eth- uh, some uh, ethical issues ca- poly- political issues etc uh, when we were discussing about the pro- professionalism right so this is heavily business related topic okay uh, economy business uh, related topic right so we'll move on so i'll be referring to our note because our note is prepared considering almost all those uh, the vle notes reference books etc okay right so i think our note is also already uploaded let's see whether it's uploaded if not i will be uploading no still not uploaded so i will be uploading that yeah still not uploaded i will be uploading it okay uh, right i will be uploading it in the uh, break okay so let's move on so if you have any clarifications needed you have to ask okay so at any time i am i am here to help you okay right so let's first discuss what is been by organization and organizational environment business environment etc okay right so again i i want to be very interactive with you so because i know that there are some students who have done uh, econ business studies so they have to talk today more than others of course anyone can talk but in certain certain days right sometimes the student who have done maths can take the leadership so some in some days the students who have done uh, commerce subject can take the leadership okay so likewise so, so that is why this is, it is a everyone subject so everyone has their own strengths and weaknesses and everyone ha- in everyone's contribution is needed when it comes to it field right so that is why we have software engineers business analysts project managers quality assurance engineers etc okay okay so let's try to understand uh, what is mean by uh, organization so let's try to understand first so i i already mentioned this little bit briefly in the very first day also so when it comes to our life we have uh, our personal life and of course our career or professional life right professional life so everyone unless you are going to be a housewife or house husband or whatever uh, right so you are going to have a career or professional life as well right and i told you 
the most of your active time will be spent on the career or professional life whereas you will be spending lesser time for your personal life that is a nature in the modern society okay right so when it comes to society again we can understand it as the global context okay look, let's start with the, uh, the other side other way around so we have of course our personal life let's forget about that uh, everyone is going to work for some organization organization Right. Then these there are not only organizations, there are, there are so many organizations, right? Business organizations, government organizations, etc. Right. So the, so that, therefore it is not only your organization is there, there are so many other organizations are there, right? Maybe you are working for a bank, some some other person is working for a, a product, or some another person is working for a health industry, right? Like a hosp private hospital, or another person is working for a a government organization right so all together we have our society society so if you take it a little bit broader we can say it's our country but that is also not the end of the story uh, if you take our society there are so many other societies in different different countries etc okay different different regions etc so that we can take it as our global or world environment right global or world context remember our topic is so don't forget the topic our topic is information systems for organizations and globalizations okay so i i i, I already use two words now uh, the global and our organization okay global so that is our organizational context right whatever the organization you are working for so that is that then of course we have the society and of course we have we are living in a global village now global village because the world is getting closer and closer together so therefore we can't just omit the what something happening in usa something happening in japan uh, of course about 10 about 30 40 years back those they, they, we were so, so, sort of isolated but now we are very close together right for example if you are in IT field right majority of you will be working for uh, software developments in uh, for other countries right the countries like USA Japan uh, the Nordic countries like Norway Sweden therefore most of the IT IT professionals actually most of the IT professionals uh, working for uh, some foreign uh, projects so therefore you can't forget about this global context especially for IT but it's in general for any field this influence is really high so therefore we have to understand how these things are happening right so therefore in general how the economy of the world is uh, driven so those things are also important otherwise you can't plug into a that kind of a truly global uh, project project team okay uh, so therefore it's very important to understand these things so what are the contexts that we have to understand our organizational context uh, our country or the social context and of course the global context uh, global context so here we are more interested about uh, in this topic we are more interested about this organizational context because we are going to have another topic where we are going to discuss more about this uh, global concept context as well okay right so when it comes to organizations when it comes to organizations we can subdivide it to different categorizations organizations right? so as i told you unless you are doing your own own work like what is known as freelance person right Ind independent professional right of course there are very few number of that kind of people Otherwise, everyone needs working for a, or working for or uh, hand, uh, uh, governing a business organization or any other organization, right? So these organizations can be subdivided into two. That is, business organizations, uh, business organizations, 
actually about more than 80% of the people are working for business organization not 80 actually around 90% because rajesh sevake ho kiyana in sita dahak wat naha ne rat ekak hari anith hama mom inna business organization non government organization right so then we have the the non uh, the non profit organizations because business is whenever we say business it's related to profit so they are interested in taking profit as well so business are profit oriented organizations whereas especially the uh, the government sector is mostly non profit oriented organizations okay so that is very rare very very few number of people even less than 10% i think uh, about around 5 uh, 5 to 7% of the people are working for uh, these government organizations the vast majority is working for either they are they are doing their own businesses or uh, they are work, they are involving in a business organization okay right so what is organization organization is uh, an entity which has some resources so what is organization so it's entity which has resources of course it, it has a funding someone has to fund it whether it's a business or non profit or whatever and there are resources like human resources physical resources right and of course they are working to achieve a common objective so they all have every organization have common objective and everyone in that organization is working to achieve that common objective so that is very very important so every organization is funded because they have some money they can get some resources like physical resources uh, land uh, premises vehicles if it is a manufacturing the the equipments machineries etc and they have a common objective as well okay so a set of objectives are there so when it comes to business organization so this funding is done by the owners or the investors right investors whereas if it is government organization this is done by government right so golden rajesh sevake and padigewanne aanduwenne right if it is private sector for the business organization it is investors or the owners of the business organization okay so then using those funds they can buy take some resources buy some resources of course they can uh, hire people because now they have money to Uh, pay their salaries and of course they can uh, take uh, or hire or buy physical resources like uh, premises vehicles etc okay furniture etc then of course they have to work towards achieving those objectives right work towards achieving these objectives for that particular organization say you are going say you you got a job in a bank so when you go every morning every working day when you are going to the work so what why you are going there for work to achieve this common objective right so achieve this common objective right say you are working for a i software development company so why you are going for the work or now now the now the going for the work is also really modified word especially when it comes software development field because most of the software developers are working from home right working from home so in that case i can't use the word going for work attending work right so even they can attend to work uh, from their bed right from their bed from their living room they can attend to work but when you attend to work you are basically uh, working towards these objectives right so so that is very important so that is why we say every employee must have that team identity right it's it's more it's beyond your personal objectives of course everyone has a personal objectives right uh, getting high salaries getting some opportunities to travel abroad and so many things right uh, promote promotions in your career but at the same times everyone has to make sure that these op- uh, organizational objectives are met because unless the organizational objectives are met 
uh, your objectives are not going to meet that at all right so therefore these two has you have to balance those two uh, when it comes to uh, your career okay right so then uh, we are more interested about the business organization from this point onwards because that is where the most of the people are involving uh, working and that is where most of the information systems are built actually more than 99 uh, more than 95 percent even more than 95 uh, percent of the information systems are developed for business organizations right because they are in a very dynamic competitive interesting situation they have to keep improving their productivity quality etc whereas the government and the non-profit organization they are not in a uh, competition right so that is why they are very dull right slow going sort of a nature is there because they don't have any uh, that kind of a dynamicity so therefore we are more interested about the business organizations and how they work etc because most of the times IT professionals work for organize business organizations uh, more than 95 percent of the time actually more than 95 so I think more than 98 percent of the time they are developing system for business organizations okay so therefore let's focus on business organizations okay right so when it comes to business organization so this topic is very important because later you have uh, e-business entrepreneurship right so don't go to final year second year and struck there so if you struck there that means you have not understood these basics in the se semester one semester two etc okay so some people so i keep keep telling right so I'm, I, almost every day i'm telling that only about 250 students get the BIT degree okay so be they are right if you want to be included there uh, just take this very seriously okay right so business organization means it's organization that means of course it has been funded funded so using the fund they they have the resources right resources so they have obviously they have the human resources and of course they have machineries etc vehicles etc uh, to, to for their operations right uh, resources so don't so you don't have to memorize these things right because these are just common sense if you are really conscious right uh, sensitive to what is uh, your environment okay so it is funded so we call it investment and of course they have the resources so what then using these resources they have they have set up some objectives every business organization have objective they have to achieve those objectives okay so that is very straightforward right so if you have any questions you can ask so every organization is has some sort of funding uh, we call it investment from the owners, investors, uh, they have the resources using the investment, they can hire people, they can buy things, they can rent things, etc. And all of these people are now working towards the common objectives. Okay, right. So when it comes to these resources, so I'm going to explain it very simple, uh, very simple terms, even uh, for students who have not done commerce subject should be able to understand uh, these terminology etc so when it comes to these resources now those who have done uh, commerce are so you have to talk now if you have understood mari girawada dala commerce karupu ayata saddana thu vidiyala kawanna e gulu dannaya mewa hari e gulu girawada dala ena prashna ta achuwen ara kaum kaum me kokis achuwen kokis bawana wage uttar liyala awana em nathi e mata kiyanna ona so when it comes to business organization there are different type of people you can understand you can identify what are the three type of people you have when it comes to business organization so forget about, i mean the internal people right internal not the customers etc so those who have done commerce you have to talk so when you are answering it's i 
prefer to if you answer it in English but if you can't remember the English term because most of you have done A level in Sinhala still you can answer it in, at least in Sinhala so those who have done commerce if you can't under, uh, answer these questions so that means it's very I'm very sorry to say, tell this uh, it's a failure your A level is a failure okay I don't mind whether you get A or B or whatever So what kind of people you can identify? So no one attempts. So that means no. So so today not, none of those are coming from a commerce subject. And of course, some of you have done O level commerce as well. And this Customers. is com sorry. Customers. So I, I, I already told you, right, forget about the customer suppliers, internal people. Internal. Managers. Sorry? Managers. Yes, management or the managers, correct. Owners. Yes, owners or the investors. So obviously third party, third category is what now? You, you should be able to tell third party now very easily, right? What is the normal, the non-management staff, right? Non-management staff. So they are not managers, but they are working. Say you have a cashier, you have a, or a computer operator, you have a clerk, right? So that is non-management staff, right? You have a marketing executive. He is not a marketing manager. He is a marketing executive, right? So then they are non-management staff. Owner or the investors, right? The management, so it's not manager, management, because you may have different type of managers like HR manager, finance manager, right? Um, likewise, so the owner or the investors, management, the non-management staff. So those are the three type of people, human type, when it comes to human resources or human level things internal entities right okay so when it comes to owners or investors how do you own or the investor is represented in a big business organization of course if it is a small business organization owner will be there right so he will involve in handling the business also sometimes but if it is a big business organization like a company, so what is or which entity is representing the interest of owners? Interest of owners. Say it's a company, private limited company. Director board? Yes, director board. So the interest of the Owners so investors are represented by director board. Yes, correct. Right. If you take some big, big business organizations like John Keels, Hamas, uh, right, Damro, Aban, Singer. So the investors' interest is represented by director board. Okay. There are some companies which have uh, uh, the stock exchange, the, the listed companies. Still, the director board represents the uh, interest of the uh, investors, shareholders, etc. It doesn't mean that every shareholder can send a, a director. So, those who are having the majority shares, uh, they have the uh, to, they have the power to nominate directors to represent them. Okay, right. So that is uh, director board. Uh, if it is a big company, otherwise you have these owners personally involved in those decision making if it is a just single owner business or maybe just one or two partnership otherwise uh, it's a direct board yes so then we have the management uh, and the non-management staff so that we will be revisiting later right so remember you have project management is there you have the entrepreneurship is there you have the fundamentals of management you have the e-business so therefore understand these things at this level okay very clearly okay so we will we will revisit this 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 category and this category later. Okay, right. So when it comes to business, right? 
when it comes to business every business has set of objectives right of course now, now we discuss about the human side right human side the the three aspects the owners management and non management so sometimes some of these owners will play the play the play roles of management as well so then so we sometimes then we call it management direct management so the managing director uh, etc and also they can involve in some management tasks and they can get uh, get a salary also right get a salary also so so when it comes to management managers and non managers what they get is salary right so what for their service the managers and the non management staff they get the salary okay they get the salary but your owners so investors they are not going to get salary right they are not going to get salary unless they are involved in some management stuff okay unless they involved in management stuff they are not going to get any salary so what do they get these directors and other shareholders what they do get what they get is profit profit yes what they get is profit right so what they they have to invest and as a return they get profit right so they don't get salary unless they involved in some operational tasks usually they don't involve in operational staff right uh, most mostly uh, so then they what what they get is a profit but these management and non management staff what they get is salary but there are special cases in some business organizations they give give shares to these people as well so they, in that case they will get a small amount of uh, profit as well because they they, they own some uh, uh, shares of the organization so that is to just to uh, give them that the feeling of ownership okay but majority of the shares will be owned by the owners and the investors okay so these people get salary they get uh, profit they get the profit okay right so let's try to understand this very uh, very simple manner right because business is a uh, something very interesting very dynamic or boring nikam putuwa kudawa adi vela anu ngara arina job ekata wada so that is why the private sector is really exciting okay right so when it comes to business organization i told you every business organization uh, now we have discussed the human aspect then of course they can buy things like uh, furniture Uh, vehicles uh, land buildings etc okay so let's uh, let's say they have uh, those resources as well right now they are going to st- they, they are, they, now they are operating now they are operating so they have set up the business now the business is operating okay so the management is doing the management tasks the other operational staff is involving in their uh, respective tasks like manufacturing or whatever the tasks okay right so when it comes to business so i told you once they, we set up the business we have objectives so now you have to tell me what are the objectives of business organization to maximize the profits that is the first or the, the most important objectives so let's say forget about the maximizing let's say get profit right so any other objectives to increase the market share Okay, so that is again contribute to profit, right? So a lot of people forget; they think that business is all about profit. No, business is not all about profit. So when someone set up a business, is it? It is not only profit they are thinking about. So they are thinking about so many other things. so many other things so is every, retention in the long term so yeah why they want to retain so that is anyway survival so every business un, unless you survive you can't do any of these things right but are there any other objective so that this is why you know that in countries like sri lanka we have very negative attitude towards or negative image about business per, business per, uh, businesses business per, people etc are egulo api hitanne komada me danawa diyo hura gena kanawa are me me rata ta me rata vinasa karana ehema ne hitala dene da lanka ehema da hadala dene moda ape oluwada daagena samajawade 
So, hebo mi tang ini business karena ayo me salih profit ham kara kara ya na kati akia. Is that the only objective? Providing a service. Yes. Why not? So if you are really good, yes, social responsibilities are there. So those are very very important, right? So lot of people forget about those things. So whenever someone put up a business, right? So they are thinking about providing service, better product and services. That is why when there are so many businesses in the society, why another person enter into the business? Uh, one of the main reason is this this person or set of people feel like we can do these things better than them so therefore let's set up a business organization and go into this uh, so because uh, we can do this better than the, whatever the currently uh, currently these business organizations are doing so that is the main motivation for entrepreneurs to start new businesses because they feel like i can do it better so why not we start it rather than blaming because now countries like sri lanka what happens we all blame others we say that okay these uh, there is no quality uh, uh, say you say you say, say uh, there is no quality uh, foods there is no quality uh, clothes or you some some people blame that the, these are very expensive So why then why don't you start a business and uh, sell uh, manufacture and sell more quality clothes than currently existing one and maybe at a lower price so then you don't have to blame others you are serving the society right you are you are you are helping the society right so therefore better product and services so if you feel like you can provide better product and services to the society so that is one of the main objective of starting a, a business organization right so provide job opportunities so if people are not be, uh, starting business organization businesses others are not going to have jobs right job opportunities right so whenever a new business starts Uh, of course you can get profit but at the same time you are providing better product and services uh, provide better job opportunities and of course when you are making profit you can contribute to the society give, give, give it back to the society in different different uh, your social responsibilities right charity works etc right so that you can share your part of your salary profit with the society again right so therefore business organization is really asset to a country so when we say country is rich right so we all know that america is a rich country right south korea is a rich country japan is a rich country why those countries are rich they have really good business organization so why japan is rich because they have toyota they have nissan they have sony so many really really uh, profitable successful business organizations why usa is a uh, really rich country why they, these people are really living a really good life they have microsoft they have oracle they have apple right so they have tesla so why countries like sri lanka is really poor we have nothing right we have nothing like that right we are not exporting anything right so that is why countries like sri lanka is really poor we don't have proper business organizations so therefore yes obviously we are poor right and we are going to be poor in next 100 years also because we think that businesses are really uh, bad things and of course as long as you think like that uh, we are just going to end up as uh, a poor country uh, with lot of misery okay right so again therefore it's very important so don't think that profit is the only objective no so it basically a very good business organization always uh, make your country richer right make it more opportunities okay so i am not talking about when i say business organization i am not talking about that jawaram me hari ne kudu genne na hari e wane me right genuine business genuine business organizations okay right now let's try to understand now you know what what is objective of a business organization okay now let's try to understand uh, by the way just someone tell me what is the basic formula of profit
basic formula the simplest formula of profit i am asking only simple questions anyone should be able to answer these questions profit is can you repeat it i i i i couldn't hear it expense minus uh, income expense minus income or income oh, minus expense income minus expenses. yeah income minus expenses right in other words expenses we can give it another word cost right cost uh, income or the income minus cost or the revenue minus cost so the, 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 the technical terms are we call income as revenue revenue the expenses are called cost okay revenue minus cost is called the profit okay so therefore so when you want to increase the profit or oh, first thing is you have to survive okay. so as a human or as a animal also we have to survive first unless we survive we can't do anything so as a business how do we provide uh, survive monetary terms we can survive as long as our income is at least equal to a cost or our revenue is at least equal to cost uh, of course if our revenue is bigger than cost that means we can really survive uh, otherwise you you can't survive then right? you can't survive long term of course you will be able to survive maybe few years of course whenever someone start a business usually in first few months or first few years sometimes Uh, you have to run with uh, loss so that is normal thing that is normal thing there are some business areas where that time period is very short there are some business areas where that time period is very lo very long so then only you start making real profit but long term you have to make profit right so so the profit is income minus expense okay so then how to increase uh, profit so we are gradually now moving to business so profit is revenue minus cost right profit is revenue minus cost so that is what the investors are really eyeing because remember investors are really in, in interested about what profit but because for the investment what they get as a return is profit so if the company is not making profit uh, they are not going to get any benefit for their investment right so therefore they are really interested about profit of course they are interested about all the other objectives as well but uh, we all need uh, for, for they, they also human right just like the employees get salary these investors also need some return otherwise uh, they are not going to invest so therefore they are interested in this profit of course if if a company is not making profit then Uh, the company is going to be sort of bankrupt in long term then of course all the employees are also not going to get any salary because now you know that because of this corona issue there are so many business organizations they have shut down so that means uh, uh, not only the investors are not getting any profit right is more than that all the employees are not getting their salaries actually some some of the businesses are completely shut down so that means they are they have Uh, they have no employment anymore because this business organization is also no longer there in some cases okay right so therefore uh, it's very important uh, to get the profit or be being profitable and of course higher the profit uh, higher the uh, return for the investment higher the return for the investment and of course higher the profit higher the benefit for the employees as well because when you have a higher profit usually the the business organization Uh, is in a be better position to share that be benefit with their employees as well so that is why you get something called bonus etc okay. lankai bonus then namuthu idiya ne lankai bonus then ne private sector ne adi pura aandu ai da aandu de bonus denna pula achal de achu gahala bonus denna den kiyana dollar eka 200 yuna ara ara 200 yuna me oka 10 wenna pula me yana vidiyata ari ai mokada aandu de bonus denna so usually if you want to get high salary in developed countries you have to go to the private sector right you have to go to the private sector because that is where the revenue is the the money is wealth is generated by private sector in those countries right but in countries like sri lanka the, the government is ara dansa lakwa ke saldi bedena it was you know me go dekhara dinne anith hamara me asia hamara atakama 
තමන්ගේ සල්ලි වෙහෙම තියෙන්නේ එක්ක පොසත් ඒගොල්ලෝගේ ස්ට්‍රෙන්ත් එක වැඩි වෙනවා ලංකා ලංකාව වලපල්ලටම යනවා හරි හොඳට මතක තියා ගන්න ආයෙ ඕගොල්ලන්ගේ අනාගතය තමයි මේ ආ හරි අපේ තනාගතය තමයි නමුත් අපිට වැඩි ඕගොල්ලන්ගේ අනාගතය ඉතාම භයානකයි කියලාත් මතක තියා ගන්න හරි මේ යන යන සිස්ටම් එකට අනුව නයි සේ සේ සම්තින් ලයික් ඉන්දියන් ඕගොල්ලෝ ප්‍රසවන මේක දැකලා ඇදියා शक्ति मत डॉलर मम्मी अपे अपे आहार पार रटा टी पे ना ना अपे कोच्चर खाल का नहीं रटा दिकेरा बलागा नहीं पड़ोगा ना ठारी सो दिस इज इंडियन रुपी टू डॉलर राइट ग्रीन एंड गेटिंग्स मोर एंड मोर स्ट्रोंग एंड स्ट्रोंग राइट एक एंड रुपी ले बाटना का वैरी बनो नाउ लेट्स लुक एट पाकिस्तान रुपी यू कैन सी इट ना लेट से बांग्लादेश बांग्लादेश महा दुपत्र मोलडी So more devian rupee. It's again pretty much flat. Can paugiya aurud da thodte. Ekolo padangai lana. Chuttak me thena kol ratu na ai then settle. Like they rathe arthi ke gaant maintain karanga na ekolo. Hari right. So now let's take uh, Sri Lanka. But apni hari uh, business karan me thira tak ne. Now you can see what is happening. Right, it's red. It's red, and it's getting uh, red really, really. Uh, right, the one near, the make one near. With that, name, digging there, no more. That's why we need. That's why all that we need. That's why 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 बालपालट building businesses right start building businesses right එහෙම නැත්නම් මේ රටට කාල කන්නිය කියලා රටේ තියෙන සල්ලි ටික ගන්න නම් හිතාගෙන ඉන්න එපා මේ ඩිග්‍රියක් අරගෙන ඉවරලා හරි අනිත් මිනිස්සුන්ගේ අපෙන් හිතාගෙන ඉන්න එපා වට පේනවනේ මේ රට කොච්චර කාල කන්නිය වෙනවද කියලා නේද අනිත් රටවල් එහෙම නැහැ හරි හා හරි වියට්නාම් වගේ රටවල් සෑහෙන මම හිතන්නේ වියට්නාම් වගේ වල සෑහෙන ස්ට්‍රෝම් මේ දවස්වල so let's see वियटना वेटलाकाडमी बूरूमे लंका पाकिस्तान बांग्लादेश रीजन स्ट्रेंथिंगनोमी ओके राइट सो एवरी इन्वेस्टर इंटरेस्टेड अबाउट मेकिंग प्रॉफिट राइट सो देन ओनली दे गेट द बेनिफिट्स देन ओनली दे कैन गिव दैट बेनिफिट्स दे आर एम्प्लॉइज एंड ऑफ कोर्स दे कैन डू ऑल द चैरिटी एंड एनी अदर सोशल बेनिफिट्स टू द सोसाइटी राइट सो दैट इज व्हाई फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू टेक द जीडीपी ऑफ साउथ कोरिया आई थिंक मोर देन अबाउट वेरी गुड परसेंटेज आई थिंक मोर देन 20% ऑफ द जीडीपी इज कमिंग फ्रॉम Uh, what? Which company? 
So when you say South Korea, what is the brand name coming to your mind? Samsung. Samsung, right? Samsung. So likewise, so that single-handedly, the Samsung has take South Korea out of the poverty, right? Out of the poverty because they have generated so much of time, so much uh, revenue for the country. That means whenever you are buying Samsung phone. You are you are giving money to the uh, South Korea, right? So that is why they are then it was equally phone we could like equally go to Karan. A pay means to take you know, are they able to villa a pay job Karan Gila? Maybe the Kun Korea and a minister Gila may hold the job name Karan, and Malu Alana, market to Veda Karna, we go looking up with them over and up to the Sadina, a phone, not an army. The Ogola will own a pay may have a ticker land, that is to take a Veda Gala, Yan, right? So that is uh, therefore it's very important. So we have very good business culture, right? Very good business culture. So that is how the countries like Singapore, Japan, South Korea, and not only that, even China. So a lot of people think that China is a socialist country. It's no longer a socialist country. Hey, naidi mehitta villa dengar building a ghali villa me me business ne karan netani karta. Har Shangri-La ke inder me opko mara ke ni villa unko samajwaaja tino na gitna Shangri-La me me one one uh, one kalam boi kadi yaad pas me me. So that is why China is uh, getting richer and richer right now because they are no longer doing any communism, they are doing business. Right? They are doing business, they go all over the world and do business. Right? They go all over the world and do business. They go all over the world and do business. Right? Uh, right. So it's very important, right? So then, so let's try to understand how to maximize the profit because businesses are interested in maximizing the profit also. It's very simple. So how to maximize the profit? By increasing the revenue and uh, reducing the cost. Yes, so it's a very simple formula. Either you have to increase revenue or you have to decrease cost or it's e even better if you can do both at the same time, but it's some somewhat conflicting, right? Increasing revenue and decreasing cost. But there are situations you can do both. In certain aspects, you increase revenue. In certain aspects, you reduce cost. Both contribute to the increase of profit, right? So therefore, every business organization, every business organization, right? I so profit the business organization at the So every business organization is interested in. Uh, increase in their profit so they know that how to increase profit uh, we have to increase revenue we have to keep reducing cost right keep reducing cost then only we can increase the profit okay right now let's try to understand the business environment business environment Right. So when it comes to business environment, so there are different type of business environment. So actually, there are two type of economies in the world. Right. So what are the two type of economies in the world? So every country either this economy or this economy or little bit of mixture. What are the two economies? The free market to open economy, free or open economy, and closed economy. Right. Closed economy. Closed economy means that economy is closed, right? Not open to others, right? But if you take free market to open economy, so that is what the economy of almost all the countries, other than few countries like uh, North Korea, uh, Cuba. Of course, sometimes back we had the uh, closed economy in uh, countries like. Uh, Russia, so at that time we call it call them Soviet Union, and of course the uh, West, sorry, Eastern uh, European countries like uh, Poland, uh, East Germany, etc. Right, but all those countries were collapsed in, I think, in 1980s, right? Yeah, 1980s and early part of 1990s, and they all collapsed and. Uh, you know that there were so many instability in this uh, Russia. So Soviet Union was dissolved, 
and they also adopted the sort of a free and open economy right so, so the leader in free and open economy is the usa and uh, then we have the britain and of course the western european countries like german france etc okay and there are some countries which use little bit of both right for example china it's used both in certain aspects it's close in, in other aspects uh, it's a free or free and open economy so that is why uh, so they allow any business to come to their country as long as it is beneficial to them so that is why the apple computers are most built in uh, china right uh, almost all your right laptops are built in china whether it's a dell or uh, hp or whatever right so those are american companies but your apple phone is 99% of the time it's coming from china apple phone right us brand but built in china so so what they do is they don't buy things right they don't buy other other people's things so in that case they are close but they allow others to invest in their country so they allow apple to come and uh, set, set up a uh, factory they allow dell and uh, hp and those countries uh, companies to come and set up their uh, plant so that in that way they are open in that way they are open so therefore china is doing both they are doing both but countries like north korea uh, and cuba uh, they are pretty much in the closed economy and that is why they are the sort of the poorest countries in the world okay right so we are interested about this free and open economy because majority of the countries are have adopted this free and open economy right so that means free and open economy means anyone is free to start a new business or at any time they can go out of the business so government is not usually involved in uh, uh, these business activities of course the government is interested in uh, taking their uh, what is known Charging as taxes sorry you were talking about taxes yeah yeah taxes yeah government is interested about taking their taxes and providing basic infrastructure etc but other than that the government usually do not involve in the business so especially the countries like america uh, britain german so they are not involved in uh, they are not much involved in uh, the business activities of course they are just providing the facilitating uh, they are just giving the facilitate role only and of course they can in return when there are so many profitable businesses they get lot of tax so that means they they can use that again to build infrastructure and the uh, social benefit to the, so the people okay so we are interested in this kind of a society because that is the dominant uh, economic model in the world right so there are any business for example if you feel like you have the capacity to uh, start a business of course you are free to start right so you can uh, you can set up your own business you can buy your land of course you may need some money or if you don't have money you have to set up people have to get together uh, with uh, different different capabilities but you can start right you can start are you are ordinary kadaya dana bulwanne the ordinary gila factory dana america vanna lanka so that facility so even sri lanka is in that way open economy right in that way open economy the only thing is in countries like sri lanka the economic policies are not favorable so that is why uh, even the apple is going to china they are not coming to sri lanka right so the dell and all those people are going to china india but they don't come to sri lanka why our policies are not favorable for investment right favorable for investment okay then sri lanka fox mukad box fox box again ෆැක්ටරි එක දානවා කියලා බයිලක ගහ හිටියා නේද ආවද ආවේ නැහැ ආවේ නැත්තේ මොකද මෙහෙ ඇවිල්ලා මේ එක එක ආණ්ඩු පෙරලා එනකොට එක එක උඩපට කියන්නයි එහෙම බෑ එක එක පොලිසියක් තියෙන රටක් වුණා හරි ඉන්වෙස්ටර්ස් ලා එන්නේ එහෙම මේ උදේට එකක් කියලා දවස් දවසට එකක් හවසට එකක් කියලා උදේට එක ගැසට් එකක් ගාලා අවසර ගැසට් එකක් අකුල ගන්න හරක් කියන රටවල් වලට ඉන්වෙස්ටර්ස් ලා එන්නේ නැහැ ඉන්වෙස්ටර්ස් ලා එන්නේ හොඳ සොලිඩ් පොලිසිස් තියෙන රටවල් වලට හරි මිනිස්සු ඉන්න රටවල් වලට හරක් කියන රටවල් වලට එන්නේ නැහැ මේ වගේ හරි so therefore they are not coming here right isara api datta awa hebe hari free trade zone so it him tire hadana company tile hadana company norita ke wage ewa isara api datta awa namu den inne because our policies are not really good right our policies are not good our policies are hari 
not uh, friendly to the business people okay so anyway so let's assume that we have that kind of environment right we assume that we have that kind of environment uh, hypothetical country lanka business ganne ne mamme katha karanne ya api hitama ehema country ekata api khada gatta kiyala anagathe so then so this is say your business so of course there are so many other businesses i am not drawing other business all the other businesses what i am drawing is other businesses in the same field right say you are a bank i am only drawing the other banks say you are the sampath bank i am just drawing uh, hatton, uh, hatton national bank commercial bank etc say you are the uh, food city i am drawing laugh super supermarket uh, then the, uh, something like kills uh, apico etc okay so this is our competitors because whether you like it or not you have to face that competition right you have to face that competition so this is our business right so this is our business so then we have our own customers right? so there are customers coming for us and just like we have our customers our competitors have their customers right so our band balat karne ko longan they have their customers so this i'm just showing you the model in the uh, open how the business organizations operate in open economy so they have uh, their customers so let's do it in different color so once you understand this you don't have to memorize anything okay you don't have no, you have nothing to memorize so they have their customers so let's take one more right and of course these customers are not bound to you or other right so these customers sometimes some of these customers are going there they are and also they are coming here so some of these customers are coming to you as well as they are going to some other your competitors places as well right to aga bank ku deka account seen puluwan neda bank ku deka account seen puluwan oya hita samahalla ada laugh ekata yana samahalla ada food city em padu ganna so therefore There, there is no barrier. There is no barrier. So that is what it, what is known as this freedom is there not only for you to set up businesses. That freedom is there for the customers as well, right? So customers can freely go here and there, right? Freely go here and there. So that is one of the prerequisite of open economy. Right? That is one of the prerequisite of free open economy. You are not locking to the uh, particular vendor. right so that is very important okay then then langadi government and decision ya gena me numbers are freely maru karanna pulang enna onikela mobile app phone numbers so that is really good decision actually right for example once you say you have a mobile number say now you are you are in colombo or some other area now you move to another area where the mobile signal is not good enough now you should be you must have that freedom to go to a different Mobile, mobile provider with the same number because you don't want to change your number right every six months right because then you have to inform all the other people if it is a business you have done lot of investment to publish your number right so therefore it's very important that freedom right so that as a customer you must have that freedom to uh, freely move from one one uh, business to another business so that freedom is part of the uh, open economy right open economy okay right so now every business is eyeing at making profit right so this business is also trying to make profit this business is also trying to make profit likewise everyone is trying to make profit right now let's see uh, how to uh, first of all we have to survive because for example uh, there's another chance uh, all of a sudden another business comes right all of a sudden another business comes so that possibility is also there So you can't say that okay no no you can't set up a business here right so another business comes now what they are going to do they are going to attract some customers from there some of your customers or some of our customers 
some customers because they also want they also now try to make profit right they can't survive unless they have customers right business ya patan gatta kele ekapata jana jana gahane wedi wenna ne ona then so now you can see there's a fierce competition right fierce competition so when they attract some customers sometimes some businesses go out of right samahara samahara business kelima bankolutena because they don't have enough number of customers now to make profit right even that can be happen to you so therefore there is a competition between these business organization right so there is a he heavy competition between these business organizations that is why some businesses are there after some time that business is no longer there why because they have they cannot face the competition so those who can't face the competition they get out of the business why some other new businesses emerge so that is normal thing right api podi kale biwu biwu kirip neme ogollo bonne api api liyu pan wali neme ogollo dan liyanne hari api api e dawasala liwe godak kada orex pan in renault pan in dan ogollo orex pan renault pan in liyanne ne ewa na so those businesses have closed down right so they due to various reasons sometimes they can't face the competition coming from other businesses right other businesses therefore they just close it down so that is the nature of business okay right so therefore now we have another very uh, very very important thing that is now if you take a customer so meka terum gattara passe mukur paadan karanna denna ya me me igena gannawa kene paadan karanawa kene kene me ya eka tani boruwa lanka ekak boruwa ne lanka igena gannawa kene tani boruwa ne lanka igena gannawa kene wada ona hari kata paadan karan gila vibhage dawasara amba marla eno එච්චර ඉගෙන ගත්ත මිනිස් ඉන්න නම් මේ රට සෑහෙන දිනු වෙන්න එපැයි හරි මේ රටේ ඔබ ලොකු බොරුවක් කියලා දින ලංකාවේ අධ්‍යාපනේ මාර සුපිරි කියලා ලංකාවේ අධ්‍යාපනේ මාර සුපිරි නම් සුපිරි බුද්ධිමතුන් බිහි වෙන්න එපැයි සුපිරි ව්‍යාපාරිකයෝ එහෙම බිහි වෙන්න එපැයි එහෙම මොකෙක්වත් බිහි වෙන්නේ නැහැ මෙහෙන් ආ මෙහෙන් ඉන්නේ කටපාඩම් කරන් කියලා වමාරලා එන හරක් රැලක් වැඩි බහුතරේ right so therefore don't memorize try to understand these things in a very practical manner okay right now we are in a competition right so if you want to win this competition or survive and grow we have to attract more and more customers so that means we have to attract others customers as well mukoda apita me minisunga petau gahanna bane apita customers lo ona kiyala me gihilla ogolo wedi en lamai hadanne kiyanne bane lanka wehema thamai karanne hari lanka tarakata lamai hadana anne eda hari muslim aya te viruddho singhala aya lamai hadana singhala aya te viruddho muslim aya lamai hadana meka muslim karaganna ona kiyala are ewage ek 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 kina lamai hadana so businesses they are not relying on the increase in the uh, increase in the population but they are interested in this attract in these people other businesses the customers of the other businesses they try to attract to them so in order to attract right it's a competition say you have uh, say now assume that we are, we are going to have competition say it's 100 meter race right so you are also going there so not only you there are say other people are also coming for the race now only one person is going to be winner or one, only few people are going to be one two three others are going to be losers right so in order to win this so basically who is going to win this match uh, race me race ekau dinanne kaada kiyana pula so it's 100 meter whoever that is fast yes whoever that can run fastest is going to be the winner obviously right when meka gihilla me anith ekkanta pole gawwa kiyala hari bara hara una kiyala oya dinanne naha dinanne kawuda hayima duwana ekkana dinano right so who can run fast then kawuda me dinanne hayima duwanne kawuda thoda who can run fastest then anne me analyze kala balanna so only one only one winner will be there so that is the per person who can run fastest then my next question is who is going to the be the person who is going to run the fastest run mona wage ekke nedda meka wadiyama duwanne hayyen mu duwanne so i am asking very simple question mona qualities thiyena ekke nada metenin wadiyama hayyen duwanne some quality that has the uh, physical uh, what do you call uh, capabilities okay so be specific say strength ega hayye nattan duwanne bae neda 
හරි හොඳට ඇඟපත හයිය අය නෙමෙයිද මේ රේස් එකක් දුවන්නේ හරි ඔය බලන්න ඔලිම්පික් වල මීට සීම දුවන මිනිස්සු කොච්චර ඇඟපත හයියද කියලා yes strength එක තියෙන්න ඕන that is one option right strength එක තියෙන්න ඕන වෙන ඇඟ හයිය වෙච්ච පලියට දුවන්නත් බෑනේ නේද the also the motivation and courage yes your courage බය නැති වෙන්න ඕන නේද ඇඟ හයිය දිවිච්ච පලියට මිනිස්සු රේස් දුවන්න බෑනේ courage yeah motivation and when you anything else willingness to win okay so we will we'll, we we'll put it into their courage and motivation the flexibility agility neither on flexible life no neither ego ne nithara ara exercise karanne practice karanne eka neither right agility strength courage right tawa samahala tawat wadi danna pulawa oyage kaku diganam so who is going to get the better chance kaku dige ekkenada ikkunda duwanne kaku kota ekkenada නේද කකුල් කොට එක්කන මෙහෙම මෙහෙම අඩි තියේ තියේ දානවා කකුල් දිග එක්කන මෙහෙම මෙහෙම තියේ දානවා ඔක දැකලා දෙන්නේ කළු ජාතික දිනන් ප්‍රධාන හේතුව මොකද්ද හරි උසයි ඒක සෝ දැට් ඉස් වෙදර් වී ලයික් ඉට් ඔර් නොට් වී හැඩ් ටු ඇක්සෙප්ට් ඉට් රයිට් වී හැඩ් ටු ඇක්සෙප්ට් ඉට් ඒ කියන්නේ වැඩිපුරම දුවන්න දිනන්නේ කළු ජාතික ඒක ළඟ ස්ට්‍රෙන්ත් එක වැඩි හරි ඒක ළඟ හොඳ ටෆ් අනිත් අතට ඒක ළඟ කකුල් ඒක ළඟ හොඳ උස උස කට්ටිය රයිට් අපිත් එක්ක ලංකාවේ එක්කෙනෙක් ගිහිල්ලා කළු ජාතික එක ගාව නැගි හිටියකොම අපේ අපි හෙන කොටයි ඉතින් අපිට හරි අපිට මීටර් 100 200 දින හරි අමාරුයි රයිට් සෝ දැට් ඉස් දැට් ඉස් සම්තිං වී හැඩ් ඇක්සෙප්ට් රයිට් සෝ දෙන් බට් ඉෆ් යු ටේක් සේ මැරතන් ඉට්ස් නොට් 100 මීටර් නවු මැරතන් සෝ මැරතන් මීන්ස් ඉට්ස් අබවුට් අයි ඩොන්ට් නෝ එක්සැක්ට්ලි හව් ලෝන් සේ ඉට්ස් අබවුට් මට නිය දල වශයෙන් මං කියන්න අපි තුම් It's a 20 km, I think more than 20 km, right? I think at least 40 km or maybe 30 km, uh, say 20 or 30 or whatever. But that is now, if, if it is a marathon, so then you know that our, our Kalujati ke unata, our wagi our angapatha haiyad du na ene me marathon du an. Ne, the marathon din an ne, api dhan no our America ave, Jamaica ave kaatti ene me marathon din an ne, boho vita koye monarata valo lo kaatti ene marathon ne ka kema du an ne, din an ne. කාඩ කියන්න පුළුවන් දුර දිවීමෙන් වැඩිපුරම එක දෙක වෙන්නේ මොන රටවල වලයිද they are not american they are not jamaican they are not canadian they are not british they are african african countries වල කට්ටිය kenya ඔය වගේ රටවල වලයි තමයි දිනන්න බොහෝ විට why why african these kenyan people are not winning this 100 meter but they are winning this one the thing is this is a different this is a different game so in this game these kenyan and other african people are in a better position to win it right because they have more endurance dara ganime hakiya wage dewal anitha metana wada anga pate ekka par meter 100 duwala wage ne metana ona mada you have to have a lot of uh, endurance because it it it's lasted for at least about 2 2 hours right so they are for those who have that kind of a body uh, that kind of a uh, the, the body shape and the body size etc those are the people who are going to win it so likewise uh, if you take something like another thing like cricket right football so in different different sports uh, there are different different skills uh, strategy uh, skills and physical properties and mental properties that are going to affect so that is why for example we know that uh, sri lanka is i don't know current team i don't i don't want to come in but we have done reasonably well in uh, sports like cricket right sports like cricket because uh, it's again not only physical things right it, it's all about passion courage motivation those things are also there and of course because we are we were Uh, just give me one minute because sri lanka used to be a british colony right so we had that infrastructure etc so we have been success in cricket right and we have been success in some cases in certain cases right you know that we we had a Uh, I think silver uh, medal or 
I think silver metal is converted to silver metal, uh, the Susantika Jai Singh. At least once in a while, there are some successes, but not very consistent. But we, are, we have no track, good records in something like rugby, etc. Because it needs a lot of strength, etc. Whereas here you need a lot of strat strategy, tactic. So that is why the, uh, the, the players like Muttaya, Murividharan, right? So th that is a lot of strategy, tactic, right? So we are not very strong in certain cases, but strength is also going to be really important like Malinga, uh, Jayasuri, etc. But it's a different type of strength that we need that with a lot of agility, etc. So likewise, so what I want to emphasize is we need in businesses something called, now can someone tell me, can someone guess what I am going to, uh, give, uh, what, what, what concept that I am going to present when it comes to businesses. If you want to be success and if you want to attract others, you need something. Then only they are going to attract, uh, customers are going to attract it to you and your business is going to be uh, more and more uh, stronger. But how do you call that term in business? What do you need to get our business uh, more success, attract more and more people to your business? In business terms, how do you call that concept? So here you can see this person may be an uh, American or those black people are getting the, that advantage. Here that advantage is for Kenyan people, like African people. Uh, maybe in some areas like Indian, Sri Lankan people are getting that advantage. How do you call that uh, term? We call it competitive advantage, right? competitive advantage so that is really really important terms when it comes to business you can't discuss businesses without using this term so that is competitive advantage and it is not of course if it is sports it's partially coming from your physical shape fitness Another things coming from your uh, courage, motivation, your culture, right? So somehow, uh, if you have that advantage, you are going to be a winner, right? So those who are not having advantage, you are not going to be the winner. Same thing for businesses. If you have a competitive advantage, you can defeat others or you forget about defeating others. You can be the winner, right? You can be the winner. Uh, that means you have that advantage. So if you don't have advantage, so just like if you don't have advantage uh, in winning 100 meter, no point you go and compete. If you don't have that advantage for winning marathon, no point go and try to um, participate for marathon. If you don't have that competitive advantage, don't no point go and try to participate in rugby. Right. So same thing. If you don't have that advantage no point you set up a business right no point you set up a business because you are going to be defeated just like it's something like just for the sake of participating you participate in a sport because you don't have that advantage you don't have the advantage specific to that area so therefore when you are starting a business when you want to build up a business and you want to make your business a success you have to make sure that you have that advantage you have a specific advantage in that business area so if you don't have it you are not going to be successful so there are so many people in countries like sri lanka they just start a business for the sake of starting a business but the, maybe that person has that competitive advantage of that particular business that set of people they have that advantage, but you don't have that advantage. So no point starting a business. So no point try to compete because those who are having the advantage, they are going to be the winners. Those who are not having the advantage, they are going to be the losers. So in open economy, there are businesses coming and going. Right? Okay. So they get out of the business because they lose, lost their competitive advantage. But now again they try to come into the market. Right? So again they try to come into the market. Uh, right? so, so likewise, now the competitive advantage is with some other companies uh, like Samsung, uh, etc. Okay? So likewise, uh, 
so so for example when we did our higher studies everyone's dream was to get a ibm computer right ibm computer now ibm computer is no longer there so they lost their competitive advantage they they sort of vanished from the business and they had to sell their business to other companies and now the market leaders are something like dell hp and also the the brands like asus they are try to be the market leaders in the future right so that is the nature but in order to be the leader at a time you must have that competitive advantage at that time okay and also you have to keep try to keep maintaining that advantage as long as you keep maintain that you are going to be success otherwise you are going to uh, get out of the business so you are going to diminish okay right so now i hope you have very good idea about what is business environment uh, what is free and open economy right how the businesses run what are the objectives of businesses and how to uh, what is the formula of profit and of course how to maximize the profit of course you have to first have the competitive advantage and attract more and more customers they, once you have that uh, you can keep increasing the revenue and uh, decreasing the cost so that you keep increasing the profit so when you keep increasing the profit of course that means you are attracting more and more customers that is why you are keep increasing the profit you can make it more and more expand right you, your business you can more and more expand and of course as part of that others are, some other businesses are going to be bankrupt so that is normal right business ka bankrupt na again ka open economy ke ardu kisi mo prashne anne hari etokota ay wada karu minus unta puluwa anith job anith aayatana wala job hoya ganna eka thai america wala dal wala thiyena bidiya hari ada ada job ek karana thana neme anith thana job okona hondara ma denna software developers ta gen ona kenek gen kahala balanna hari software it field ekak inna gen lankawe hari avurudu da avurudu pahak athuru ta aduma gane company suna gata kala thiyena mokada e gulu ka company ekena man wada eka eka hataliyak denna තව එකෙන් කියන මම වාට එක 80ක් දෙන්න. මොකද ඒගොල්ලන්ට මිනිස්සු වල. අර ගොල්ලෝ ටග් ගාලා එක එයාට ඉතුනොත් ඒක පැකේජ් එක හොඳයි කියලා ඒගොල්ලෝ එක 80ට යනවා. සෝ එහෙම තමයි වෙන්න ඕන. එහෙම තමයි වෙන්න ඕන. සෝ ඔෆ් කෝස් ද පීපල් කැන් මූව කස්ටමර්ස් අට යන්න පුළුවන් නම් ඕන බිස්නස් එකකට එම්ප්ලොයිස් රත් යන්න පුළුවන් වෙන්න ඕන. හරි එම්ප්ලොයිස් රත් තමන් තමන් මෙතන හොඳ නැත්නම් මීට වෙඩි හොඳ තැනක් තියෙනවා නම් එයාට එතනට යන්න ඕන. මොකද බිස්නස් එක ලොක් ප්‍රොෆිට් වැඩි වෙනකොට ඒගොල්ලන්ට පුළුවන් වැඩි සැලරි දෙන්න. very salary deal la wala honda ayo thawa attract karaga right so that is why, that is the nature of uh, uh, free free and free free and open economy so that is the that is why the people in america uh, britain japan these people are really happy people because they have that freedom so they have that freedom to go into any business organization and work there because there are so many opportunities for them so that is called the freedom freedom is not staying in the same place ek freedom ekena meka wahal kam oya ata yanna thana na oya anathai hari oya etenin eha loke yanna na loke yanna na oya ata market value ekak na hari eka hondu mokada karanne haraka wage etenta mela lagala inna etenin eha loke yanna na vidi wasa thama ara strike karanne ai strike ai means strike karanne me dawasala strike karanna anne edi hari e strike karanne etenin eha ata e minutu loke yanna na e minutu etenin eha ata loke yanna thiyanda egolla ोलोट So we'll take a small break. So after the break, uh, we will discuss uh, the structure of a business organization, like the management, organizational structure, organizational culture, etc. And of course, if we have time, we will move on to some uh, how to uh, what are the business strategies, etc. Okay, right. So now it's nine thirty. So we'll be starting at nine forty-five. okay so we'll re- resume from where we stopped so we discuss about uh, the business environment uh, and also we discuss about the internally uh, what is really happening when it comes to business especially in open economy right right okay so we'll because this is just i'm taking a little bit more time because 
this this is a sort of investment uh, then i am not going to discuss these things when it comes to your other subjects later on uh, like uh, management uh, entrepreneurship e business etc okay so this is a base that we have set up, set up setting up for your future subject because I, now remember this bit is also for us i don't know but how we are doing is we consider bit as a marathon right it's a 3 year marathon right so i am not at all interested in uh, doing this as a semester 1 uh, me 100 meter so that if you also do it like semester 100 meter you just concentrate on these subjects and try to pass these subjects of course you may or may not be able to pass your semester 1 but pretty sure you are not going to achieve your long term objective right long term objective and i'm again telling you only 250 odd people of achieve that objective because it's a marathon so therefore don't just narrow mindedly concentrating on passing the semester 1 exams your real challenge is somewhere in year 2 year 3 right the project management etc the papers are really tough there you can't understand because there you have to understand project management related things entrepreneurship related things so you, it is not the time to understand these basic things okay right so therefore here understand these things uh, properly forget about the exams okay so if you know these things you can face any exam right so i explain you the uh, i discuss you the importance of uh, increasing the profit but in, in order to do that it's very important we have competitive advantage where we can keep expanding our business okay right right and also uh, when it comes to uh, organization the business organizations there are two type of business organizations okay so what are those two type of business organization depending on what kind of things thing they are giving to the society so that is the product organization so product oriented businesses and service oriented businesses product oriented service oriented because in the future you may go into a product oriented business organization to practice your profession or you may move on to a service oriented uh, business organization right business organization uh, for example say people who are working for say melbourne biscuit dam ro right uh, something like so in sri lanka we have very little number of product oriented business organizations that is one of the biggest issue we are in this country is currently having uh, so that means they are working in the product oriented or the product related business organization their business is product related damro uh, melbourne manchi milko right you can see most of the time what we have is uh, yes manufacturing but mostly it is food or something right milko melbourne mate enni me nam tamai are ehema nathi ewa dittika ya ne de damro dsi and so that is anyway all are, all are product oriented business organizations right product oriented business organizations so they they produce the physical product and sell it and they are by making profit okay but when you take the world right so many product oriented uh, businesses are there nokia apple toyota right tesla okay siemens so they all are product oriented businesses in sri lanka we have very little number of brands like that right apita ehema thiyena oda top me toyota nissan suzuki balanna japan ki ogon kochcher brand olu odena oda kiyala okkom products ni sony sanyo right america we want dell hp apple right so they are all products they are all products right uh, so when you say south korea nokia right even when you say india how many products come into your mind so that is why india is getting strong and strong and strong are are e minus ni kan pinata thamai api enna tak illa ganna are tinen tikak illa ganna api pinata are 
අඩුගානේ ඔය ගහගෙන පින් තමයි දෙන්නේ වෙන්නේ දැන් ඔය ගහ ගන්න අයට මොකද හැමදේම පින්නට නැකන්නේ හරි චීනට පින් දෙන්නේ නෝ ඉන්දියාවට පින් දෙන්නේ නෝ හැබැයි කියන්නේ වෙන කතා රයිට් සෝ සෝ ඉන්දියා ටාටා රයිට් බජාජ් සෝ සෝ මෙනි ප්‍රොඩක්ට්ස් ආ දෙයක් right and also they are manufacturing in uh, these corona uh, vaccine so corona vaccine is a product right pharmaceutical lanka wade en badi purum behet enna go enda ekko india wen ekko pakistan right corona vaccine wedi ma dan go eda india wen api data dan dunu ne ena right india minisunta toilet na kiyala nikan bai laga ga inna toilet na ne me unta kanna ne thiyena thawa tika dawasak yana kota hari toilet yana kese weda හරි දැන් තත් වාහනයක් ගෙන්නන්නේ නැහැ හරි වෙන වෙන ඉලෙක්ට්‍රොනික් බඩු ගෙන්නන එක නවත්තර සෑහෙන්න අඩු කරලා තියෙන්නේ මොකද දැන් අර කන් ටොයිලට් නැහැ නෙමෙයි කන්න දෙයකුත් නැහැ අන්තිම දැන් බඩු බඩුවක් වත් නැහැ තියෙනවා තාටික දවසක් යනවා සෝ දෝස් ආ ඕල් ප්‍රොඩක්ට්ස් දෙන් ඔෆ් කෝස් දෙයා දෙර සම් අදර් බිස්නසස් සර්විස් ඔරියන්ටඩ් රයිට් සර්විස් ඔරියන්ටඩ් සෝ ෆෝර් එක්සාම්පල් why japan south korea those are product oriented companies sorry product oriented countries china is heavily product oriented there are some countries which are service oriented right for example if you take singapore and even in, in certain extents uh, uh, england so there are a few countries like dubai of course dubai has lot of oil petroleum petroleum is a product but there are so many so much of uh, interest in uh, services as well singapore england dubai then api dakkane mala diwa ine bohoma strong vidiyata thiyena economic thiyana neda egula egula product name service egula hondata handle karana ma mokadda tourism so tourism me kiyana tourism karan professionally dire minus karan api wage dekai pana tourism neme hari so that is uh, service right so banking financial insurance uh, health health is a service education hari api gatta britain they are one of their main revenue is education right education u lanka yogor danna lanka foreign big british degrees kata hamo kochchara kiyana kinna the street eke nsbm eke hari sima kiyai bcs kiyai me hamo oma පවුම් වලින් තමයි ගෙවන්නේ හරි පවුම් වලින් තමයි ගෙවන්නේ ඒ මිනිස්සු තව දියුණු වෙනවා ඇයි ඉතින් අපේ මිනිස්සු පවුම් ගෙවනවා පවුම් ගොයින් හරි අරන් ගවිල්ලා හොයන් ගවිල්ලා ගෙවන්න ඕන ඩිග්‍රිය ගන්න සෝ දැට් ඉස් සර්විස් දැට් ඉස් සර්විස් අපේ මිනිස්සු කියන්නේ මොකද්ද අපේ මිනිස්සු කියන්නේ මේ වහපන් හරි නැත්නම් අපිට පුළුවන් නේ මේ ඔකොල දැනේ ස්ක්‍රිප්ට් එකේ එහෙම දැන් ටික ටික ළමයි ඉන්නවා අප්‍රිකාව වගේ රටවල් වලින් මාල දිවයිනෙන් එහෙම ඇවිල්ලා ඉගෙන ගන්නවා සෝ දැට් ඉස් වට් වි ආ සපෝස් ටු ඩු right me bahanna bahanna kiyala hari yanne wena rata wala men meha gena gena ugarna try karanna wena deyak karanna bana right so that is service industry software field is also service industry it is a service industry right it information technology right is again service industry okulu danna danna lanka wediyem aadayama hambenne mona inda ewa danna danna okulu ewa ugarna na hari okulu is oy score ugarna ne patta pal boru tikak ta ලංකාව වැඩියෙන්ම ආදායම මම වෙන ෆීල්ඩ් එක ජා වැඩේ මොකද්ද මේ ඉන්ඩස්ට්‍රිය මොකද්ද කැන් සමන් ටෙල් මි ෆොරින් එම්ප්ලොයි සොරි ෆොරින් එම්ප්ලොයි අ ෆොරින් එම්ප්ලොයිමන්ට් වලින් තෙනා මං හිතන්නේ මං හිතන්නේ ඒක වැඩි ඩොකියුමන්ට් එන්නේ නැති ප්‍රශ්නයක් තියෙනවා රයිට් මං හිතන්නේ ඒකිනුත් තෙනවා හරි මං දැන් ඒක හරියටම කාන මං හරියටම දැන් නැහැ මං හිතන්නේ ඒක එන ගණන් හරියට ට්‍රැක් කරන්න බෑ මොකද ඉන්නේ වෙන වෙන පැති වෙන්නේ Uh, still yes t is there t is there then the government fact government right government i think the third one or the second one i don't know exactly it it ogana maha bank ge gila meka balan puluwam ma puluwam unat ogana daanna i think the third one is it now third one is it uh, foreign exchange i can mehe pavichchi er karne wan ayin karama revenue wenne ෆොරින් එක්ස්චේන්ජ් එන්නේ අපිට එක්ස්පෝට් කරලා IT වලින් දෙන්න ඉන්න T ගවර්න්මන්ට් අර අර වයි එන්නේ සල්ලි එන කෙලින්ම එන්නේ එතකොට ඒක අපිට කෙලින්ම එක්ස්පෝට් එකක් කියලා එක පාට අල්ල ගන්න බෑ නමුත් ඇත්තටම සමහරවිට ඒක තමයි අංක එකට ඇත්තේ හරි බොහෝ විට ඒක තමයි අංක එකට තියෙන්න ඕන දැන් හරි රයිට් සෝ 
so that is service industry that is service industry right so the both are important right? so just give me one minute my one note is not working so so when in when we say business either we are talking about a product oriented business organization or we are talking about a service oriented business organization right so they get the car they can go on that the business of a subject currently or kira then you know and I it's in the at the hurry so they are we expect that you know these things right product oriented service oriented right product oriented service oriented uh, so the tourism for banking those are service oriented uh, businesses okay right So we discuss all those things product versus service oriented businesses right. so now we have discussed this business environment as something like uh, the, the in general but if you take a bus business organization a business organization also we can now look at it now we have look at some of those aspects okay uh, now we are going to look at the business organization in a different way so we are going to subdivide it to two now it's a business organization that is internal environment those who have done business studies they should know this internal environment and external environment so that is another way of look, uh, subdivision to understand certain things right so the, when it comes to internal factors of course we discussed that previously also what are those things owners or investors obviously the management non management staff right non management staff management is also staff employees so both are these are employees right right so that is called internal environment owners or the investors or the management and non management uh, employees right so that is what is known as the internal of the business organization then we have external of the business organization so the environment right so we discuss only last time we discuss only about as in the external we discuss about your competitors obviously competitors are there right part of the competitors then also we discuss they are customers so customers is also not inside the organization right uh, but it's very important so competitors and customers right then not only customers we may have to have work with our suppliers right so then we we will be working with some of our partners business partners right partners then we have to get some funding like loans and we have to work with banks financial institutes external right external but important for business and then of course the government because we have to abide by the law there are policies we have to pay tax the government is also external entity right so likewise government the most important things are competitors and customers right and of course the suppliers banks government uh, any other interest groups like ngos uh, any other right uh, societies like the people have put up so those are also important things when it comes to external environment so that is another subdivision in order to, why we are doing these kind of subdivisions in order to properly understand this right if you don't understand this properly you can't go and work for a business organization because then you don't know are samahar udeyata wedata giyanna mokoma me mokota deyanne me ehema na o he yanawa dat dat me dagatta giya hari me lo hasarak danna me mokadda me yana tana mokadda wenne kiyala wat adu gaane hari ehema innu hari e e wage nathuwa hari kenek hari ehem minus wedi handa ne me business duwanna nathe lanka ave neyada so therefore we need Uh, someone who are really serious and they know what is what they are doing they know what is what kind of environment they are working right 
yes maybe you are doing software development maybe you are doing system administration maybe you are doing accounting but you must have that big picture right otherwise you are not productive you are not contributing effectively right otherwise you are just doing whatever you are supposed to do eva dekala aga wala gena ehema ba hamoma tamange aayathane mokada wenne gena kohomada me aayathane diunu karaganne kela oluwe tiyenno ona etakota thamai me e aayathane diunu wenne e wage minissu thamai e aayathane sampadak wenne hari nathu anith minissu nikan ohe evilla mokak hari karala pahata yana samaru paha yanakan inna beru hul hul balan inna den wela paha wenne adda kiyala hari so so that is another division internal environment and external environment of the business okay so so we try to grad now we are gradually understand what is really happening in a business environment right in a business organization right so this one we discuss and it's very important these properties business environment is and open economy it's open that means anyone can come anyone can go out new businesses and it's very competitive that is a because of the open economy it's competitive and also it's very dynamic because it's open and competitive it's very dynamic that it's happening api kiyanne ogo dakala dinne eda owa mama dannam amma obi dan pissuya denawa hari me happening nadi danaka inna kota hari samahar tan walata giyawa nikan ma kenda hari ma kenda tan thiyena ne nikan giyawa na muspe entui hari samahar tan ehema ne hari dynamic hari it's things are happening there अरे मिनिस्स हम दिशा बैडक ये देनावा मुख हरी करनावा हरी काट हरी सर्विस देनावा सो दैट इज रियली वाट वी नीड सो बिजनेस ऑर्गनाइजेशन बिजनेस एनवायरमेंट इज रियली डायनेमिक इट्स नॉट स्टैटिक थिंग हरी खेद हाल बार दिन ये हरी ए वाई मिनिस्स हम दिशा में पॉलिटी का वैडिकर कस्टमर टू पर सेवे दिनोनवागे एटिट्यूड लिंग हरी ये मिनसु गेदर कट गया तीन बस ये ऐटिट्यूड अंत में गेदर आने अर वे कैंद तेल मिनसु गेदर गया बस कैंद में तम आई थी अरे चेक सो दीज आर वेरी डायनेमिक कंपेरेटिव राइट एंड इट्स वेरी ओपन एनवायरमेंट एंड ऑफ कोर्स लॉट ऑफ प्रेशर इज ऑलसो दे आर राइट बिकॉज चैलेंज लॉट ऑफ प्रेशर मैं एनवायरमेंट है वैड करने के आयतने के प्रधान एक मैनेज करने के तरह में बिजनेस इन्वेस्टर्स लट so they are under lot of pressure but pressure is something we really like right something we really like the manageable pressure is something really we like but eken api hariyata kamathi neda kreeda karanna wage dewal walata neda hari highem ball karana kota thamai bat karana manusya ara full gatiyak thiyenne neda ara elle api ogola lanka jati kreeda mokadda ekak maha kenda hari mon danna lanka jati kreeda widiyata mona magulakata elle nam karada kiyala hari eka nam udumu kreeda wak neda अपटोन बोले दिन अपटोन बोले दिन अपटोन बोले दिन बोले दिन चैलेंज जाति क्रीडावत अति क्रीडावत बोले दिन गहनोन बोले गहनेंज कर चैलेंज करना है लोग इस तरह हटे राइट सो सो दैट इज द नेचर ऑफ बिजनेस एनवायरमेंट राइट अंड ओपन इकोनॉमी एंड ऑफ कोर्स वी नीड दैट कंपेटिव एडवांटेज टू बी द विनर राइट इफ यू डोंट हैव दैट वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू सर्वाइव वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू मेक प्रॉफिट वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू मैक्सिमाइज आवर प्रॉफिट एंड एक्सपैंड राइट सो now let's say i told you that i we all discuss that there are two type of business businesses the product businesses and service businesses okay so whatever the business there are different type of flows happening throughout uh, across the business that is the money of course investors invest money right when you sell something you get money right of course when you sell something uh, the customers have to pay you money so likewise there is a money inflow and of course there is a money outflow because you have to pay salaries when you are buying raw materials you have to pay for that when you buy uh, machineries etc you have to pay for that you have to pay your other expenses like light bill 
water bill, internet bills, etc. So there is an inflow of money and there is an outflow of money. We have a business business contribute information system Right. Then we have the material flows. Right? Material flows. Right. So obviously we have to buy some raw materials, we have to buy some machineries, etc. So there is a material inflow. And of course, there is a material outflow, especially if you are a product organization, obviously you have to sell your product, right? So here you buy your raw materials and here you sell your product. So especially when it comes to product oriented business, this material flow is very uh, evident, okay? So then there is information flow, right? So we have to get some information about our market, right? So, information from the government like the policies etc so we have to absorb that taken a ayathana wala pradhani ohema nitharama ewa business magazines wage ewa andwe thiyena me policy sambandha dewal ewa kiyawanne because we need that information of course we need information about what our customers are doing what is the market trends etc right so what is the how the economy is currently uh, moving that inflow of information is there and of course we have to give outflow of information as well, right? Especially when you are doing marketing. Marketing can not get me. the product services can be customers or then what can right? So that is why we have advertising and any other form of things. Otherwise, they don't know whether you have that super product or super high quality product or service, right? Uh, right? Therefore, therefore, we have to give some information outside as well. And the other one is people right other one is people of course people are coming to your organization it's we can't say going out because some of the people will uh, resign from your organization and go join some other business organization but uh, of course uh, we have to have some people uh, coming to your organization because they they bring up some knowledge and also they do some manual labor right so likewise uh, there is a flow of human uh, people as well and of course they can leave your organization and join some other business organizations as well okay so these flows are there uh, the money uh, material information and of course the people so that is why especially this money part is handled by now put up the id but right now then when they make a flow like a pin on time after the end another accounting systems Account can not kill a picker and naked, and they count kill our subject. Time within accountant line, ego time in Sally may may part the key and a devil, ada, and be a dung, waggy devil, handle current. Have a eighty with a name, materials or diet, assets, waggy devil, or accounts in a cow can not sales, waggy devil. So that is material flow. You know, the particular inventory management system, supply order management system, custom order management system, and you can see. So those information systems, so those are the systems that we are going to build as information system professionals, right? Cost supply order management or purchase order management systems, inventory management systems, custom order management systems. So those systems are there to manage this. Whereas the accounting systems are, accounting systems are there to manage uh, or the help managing these monetary flows, okay? And then of course, uh, the information itself, the information itself is there. Uh, if the information management is there, we have to do some uh, conferencing, we have to do some email uh, communication. Uh, so therefore, we, for that also we need something called group, work group uh, softwares, right? Work group softwares. Uh, we have to communicate with our suppliers, we have to communicate with our customers, our business partners. So that is information flow. So that also we need information systems to manage that information flow, right? Uh, then of course the people uh, factor. People factor is also there, and also we have to manage the people also. So that is why we have the attendance uh, management systems, the salary management systems, payroll systems, right? All those systems are there to handle this. The people factor. Now we can see that uh, these are the important factors when it comes to the flows, when it comes to business inflows and outflows. We have the certain certain information systems to uh, better manage those uh, flows, right? So if you manage those flows better than your competitors, you are going to get the competitive advantage. That means you are going to be more productive, 
you are going to give more quali better quality product and services right uh, and of course uh, even your customers your even your employees are going to be really happy working because they have a lot of productive time okay right now we gradually understanding what is a business is what is a business organization is what is the nature of business environment is okay make a make a एक पार्ट पाई ने बैग बिजनेस होता है रे बहुत टिकट टिकट बैकग्राउंड का फुलवुड का तरफ से मेरे का नथिंग ना पार्टन करना के पारे बिजनेस वाके वो पार्टन करना मुन्ना दिया कुना पार्टन करना क्या ने वो यार थानी कुर्तियों मानें सेक वो यार मैं इग्नेगन ना ने मैं वो यार मैं साहदी क्या करागन में दागलना सर्टिफिकेट सीख देंगे गार्डन पुल बंक किया रहा मैं इकरा सामाहर ना माय पुद्दू में अपसर गिर नहीं यानी पुद्दू में इधर अपसर गिर ला तब पैसे नहीं तासन करना समान मान देखा रहे एफबी ग्रुप पे का दाल दी ना मैं मेरे हम वो ईमेल का हम अभी यूसीएसी एक टेम महीने का रुपए का वैरा दी आप ही यानी यू कैन सी � वह वह विभाग पास ना वह आगे ना डिग्री सर्टिफिकेट तैयार करना होना है ना डिग्री सर्टिफिकेट तैयार करना वह वाके मार कैलेंडर ये तो कोई थे वर्चुअली मेक करा के ला एक कम बिला आप या आप या हम रात आते ले कंगे नो ना आप इट मेक मागुल के तरह क्वा के अरे मैं आप ये डिग्री है मैं मैं एक कम है होट अरे वो कल गिल वाला ना कैमरिका उपाधि प्रदान हो चुका है क्या नहीं पागल प्रदान प्रदान हो चुका है क्या नहीं ना यार मैं एक वो लांग दिए ना एक ऑडिटोरियम में एक एक तू ऐला तो तोपिया उड़े टू विजिट कर ना ये वो सात दिन विजिट ले आना ना यहाँ पे इगने का तीर है वो दे इगने का तीर पाव चिकर गेदर पोटो एक आगे हाँ के ना मैं मैं गेद हाल को हाल मिनी सुनता है गामे मिनी सुनता है नया ऑन्टाई पे इन्ने मैं गाहगे नहीं ना के ना मैं अरे ये वाला बाहर गोम है डर ना तो तमाम के पोटो साले कहाँ गिन ना के ना घरी वो यार सामाजिक है सिर्फ नगड़े मिनी सुनो तेरे नॉन मैं मनुष्य उगत मनुष्य बुद्धिमान so just they ask whether you have passed it just to double check I mean that I am looking at me I am going to make a role apply current button and then I have apply current and I have to do my degree of corn again I am not to me degree of the one I love gun in a I degree of the one I love again well God you're a degree of God you're a production area the end so 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 therefore this certificate is just a जस्ट यार बैरी एक आदत है ना नेते हम वो में वोट अप्लाई करना हमें इंटरव्यू तेरा बेर मन नेती ना सो दे आप वो दे जस्ट बैरी है बट इट इस इज नॉट अ नेसेसरी कंडीशन टू गेट अ जॉब इट इस एंड आल्सो व्हेन समवन हैज अ डिग्री इट डजन मीन दैट यू आर इंटेलिजेंट यू आर प्रोफेशनल नो अनेक तरह में लो डिग्री आने थी इतना हम होते वैल्यू वे का तीन और न तरह का ये लगा डे कराना पुलवां सुपरी मिनिस्ट्रीन जी हाँ रे डिग्री आ तीन और सुपरी मानुष एक नोट में का तावत हो रहा है देख मैं तो डिग्री आ गत किया ला तब मान दाने मामना डिग्री आ गत किया सत्ता पहाड़ गणना देन नॉन ना हरे डिग्री अगर ना मार्ट सर्टिफिकेट का इलाज करने के बारे में नतंगे का हरे सो दैट इट्स बिकॉज़ डिग सर्टिफिकेट इज़ नॉट द इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग्स द नॉलेज द एटीट्यूड योर स्किल्स दैट इज़ व्हाट इज़ इम्पोर्टेंट ओके सो दे आर फॉर सो दैट इज़ व्हाई लॉट ऑफ़ कंट्रीज़ दे हैव वेरी लिटिल � all those things right because the mitri pass the other what job we got to get a passive where we see the person that exam got to the body then 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 what promotion then the exam the end then you know they know it I'm on do again call up and make it and private set to get exam to the promotion then now well I'm a lot of practical promotions to get in a better get no 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 no
එහෙම මේ චක්‍ර ලේක බල්ල මාස ගාන බල්ල ඔයාගේ සර්විස් කාලය බල්ල ප්‍රොමෝෂන් දෙන්න දෙන්න සැලරි වැඩි කරන්න ඉන්නේ හරි ඔයාගේ හැකියාවට තමයි සලකන්නේ හරි ඔයාගේ තියෙන ඇටිටියුඩ් එකට තමයි සලකන්නේ ඔයාගේ තියෙන ස්කිල්ස් වලට තමයි සලකන්නේ මොකද ඒක තමයි ආයතනයකට වැදගත් වෙන්නේ හරි ඔයාගේ සර්ටිෆිකට් එකටවත් ඔයාගේ මෙන්න කිසිම දෙයක් ඒක වලට වැඩක් නැහැ හරි රයිට් so when it comes to business organization so we all have to do a value addition right so then apikana me flows yana kiyala especially when it comes to material flow right material flow we have to do a value addition so for example we let's take a very simple example let's take a bakery right let's take a bakery uh, so every business organization right unless you are doing a value addition you are not doing a business right you are not going to survive say bakery so what are the input in say the physical the material input you have the flour pitti sugar vegetables sari rolls ana manang hadana na right margarine etc right so that is material input right water etc what is output so output is bread rolls nail cakes etc so that is your output so why people buy your bread rolls these things of course they can also buy these things and make the bread dough whatever by themselves but they think that it is more value it is more value rather than they go buy those things and making it they, of course they can uh, the cost is going to be lower but they think that okay so so it will take lot of time it is waste of our uh, valuable uh, effort and time so therefore i am willing to pay them the money say bread say i don't know right 100 rupees or whatever okay i am willing to pay this money and buy bread rather than buying these things and uh, making those by yourself so that is that, so you know they will not buy it unless you have that value addition so value addition ne kahanda thamai den api mekata kiyanne ne flour sugar kiya den kiyana mona bread rolls pastries etc cakes etc so everyone has to do that right otherwise if your business is not going to survive right okay no, even for service industry right so that is product industry right for example say it's a uh, let's say uh, something like uh, medical center or private hospital right hospital now it is now what is, what is the coming inside as a material we know any one other ill people ne the sick people sick sick asani ban to hospital ekata yanne le dekka balanna giyoth nisa sick vetcha kattiya enang value addition ekak kala elida daanna na kawuda right so healthy people right healthy people or heal people right so that means they must feel like okay there's a value addition so now i feel better now my uh, my sickness is no longer there so that value addition you have to do eka than doctors and nurse like athira me gathira karanna ehema karana han thamai owata digin diyara me minus wenne minus wenne hari so let's take another example say something like a beautician or hair dresser athin konde kapana den ehema thin Right. so again they are giving a service it's not a product so then when you walk into the salon and when you walk out you must feel like okay i have value addition then mama it it at adi rasanai mage konde den it adi pili walai if you don't feel like that what is not the budu ammo den tiuna de wedi meka chaat aranne den mata neu oy aye salon ekata na da you are not going to go to the salon the salon kiyena wath hama dema thiyenne ne samar salon gahena wane da e minus weight na so they don't feel like value is added value added or they feel like if i go to the other salon there is a better value addition so why so i am not going to go into this particular place again so therefore i am going to that particular place so that is what is known as value addition so every business has to do that value addition to the raw material so they are when they are providing service or whatever then only uh, the people or your customers are going to uh, come to come back to you okay so you can see that we are now still we are trying to understand different aspects of business so we are looking at the business in different different angles uh, because we are going to develop system for 
business organizations we are going to work for business organization as i told you more than 90% of the 90% of you okay because 90% of more than 90% of the people are either doing their own business or they are working for any other business organization okay right value addition right now we are going to discuss about the business activities so when it comes to business activities we can identify two type of business activities right? two type of or we can categorize business activities into two types what is known as primary business activities and sort of a supportive or secondary business activities or supporting activities so the primary business activities are the business activities directly related related to that value chain or the supply chain so supply chain means remember uh, here we have material flow right material flow it's especially it is very evident when you are doing a product oriented business organization right so that is uh, you are buying raw material uh, you are doing some manufacturing modifications then you have to sell your finished goods so if it is something related to this value addition, value chain we call this value chain the, the the material chain then we say that that is a primary business activity so this division is more evident when it comes to product oriented right less evident when it comes to service oriented okay but if it is directly related to your product or the service or providing the service so manufacturing and distributing your product we call them uh, primary business activities okay for example if it is a car manufacturing so all those buying raw materials doing certain certain uh, manufacturing steps and of course selling is part of the bis primary business activities okay so but what happens is while we need support for these primary business activities we need some secondary business activities as well okay for example we have to manage our accounts we have to manage our employees right their salary uh, their leave management their other benefits epf etf management right so of course we have to pay our uh, bills etc electricity bills etc and of course there are some other administrative tasks like maintaining our buildings providing transportation so those are called supporting activities right administration accounting hr etc okay research and development so those are supporting activities of a business organization so we have the direct or the uh, primary business activities directly related to the value chain and supporting business activities which are uh, necessary in order to have the business uh, smooth running right smooth running okay right so that is another way so of I, it is so also a kind of support activity right yes i actually i forgot to mention about it actually i forgot to add it to the this one so the so in the in the previous session, uh, class, uh, batch also i uh, for, uh, mentioned them about this actually uh, i wanted to add it uh, I, still I, I i i i didn't get a chance to add it yes it is a very important uh, it's a supporting activity right it's supporting activity unless you are in a sort of a software development company right uh, of course then it is sort of a, the, your main product uh, your business is uh, developing software but in all the other places like say supermarket chain or bank or whatever it is a new supporting activity so that is why now we have just like your hr managers marketing managers accounting or the finance managers now we have the it managers because it's very very critical supporting activity okay right and especially when it comes to manufacturing now it is getting little bit more than supporting activity also now for example if you take something like a sophisticated car manufacturing like what japanese people are doing uh, it's pretty much automated pretty much automated therefore it is in a way uh, it's in that kind of a business organizations it is more than supporting activity as well because it's sort of a it's pretty much driven by it because it's all about robotics very little uh, people involvements are there right so it's 
highly automated in that kind of situation it is little bit more than supporting activity as well okay because the, even the manufacturing is done by pretty much good part of the manufacturing is done by robotics okay right so okay now we are going to look at the another important aspect now i forget to mention when it comes to business organization so th this is how we are going to look at the business organization from this point onwards right so in order to better understand so when we have when we are looking at a particular business organization say damro say dsi say sampath bank whatever so we are going to look at these aspects right business organization even if this is uh, applicable to any organization so we are going to look at this business organization in different different ways what okay. one thing is we are interested about what is their management hierarchy what is their management structure every business organization or every organization has a management structure right so then or management structure management hierarchy then another important aspect is what is their organizational structure this is little bit different organization structure there are different organization structures okay uh, that we are going to discuss uh, management structure management hierarchy organizational structure the third one is organization culture so if you want to look at or analyze a business organization so these are the three main things that we are interested what is a business management structure uh, what is the organizational structure what is their organizational culture for example if you take say sampath bank and hatton national bank uh, they have different management structures of course when i say different management structures different people are in different place. for example the uh, so say let's take something like Uh, Damro and DSI. The CEO of Dam Damro is not the uh, CEO of uh, DSI. Right? The finance manager of the Damro is not the finance manager of uh, DSI. And of course, their their structure may, might be different. Maybe uh, Damro has a CEO, other one has a managing director, something like that, right? So likewise, the, the, they may have they may have different type of roles also in the management structure. Okay. Uh, maybe one dep one particular organization has a particular manager but the other one is not having that kind of manager right so that is management structure then organization structure so there are different organization structures like we have the hierarchical organization structures we have the team oriented organization structures the project oriented organization structures sometimes we have very flat organization structures or the organic organization structures so likewise different business organizations have different organization different type of organizational structures okay especially when it comes to software development uh, and most of the engineering organizations like civil engineering uh, we don't the traditional hierarchical structure is not going to work so therefore in software field uh, especially in the software development field we go for the the project oriented organization structure so that is why you have two you have in final year you have subject called management in second year you have subject called project management so the reason is uh, software development is a project but if you are uh, working for something like uh, dsi manchi they are not having projects they are having manufacturing so they, they don't have project managers they have only managers like production managers etc whereas if you take software development company if you take a civil uh, engineering firm uh, they are having project managers because what they they start something they do it they finish it then they start another thing so that is what is known as project uh, but when it comes to dsi meliban damro they are not going like a project sir ego lo ki anna ne meliban biscuit hadanna patan kata meliban biscuit hadari varai 
දැන් අපි ජෙම් බිස්කට් හදන. එහෙම කියන්නේ නැහැ. හරි. මැලිබන් බිස්කට් සෝ සෝරි නොට් මැලිබන් බිස්කට්. සේ අපි මාරි බිස්කට් හදන්න පටන් ගන්න. දැන් මාරි බිස්කට් හදලා ඉවරයි. එහෙම කියන්නේ නැහැ. හරි. අපි දැන් අයිස් හදනවා කියන්නේ නැහැ මාරි ඉවර කරලා. හැමදාමත් මාරි බිස්කට් හදන. හැමදාමත් අයිස් බිස්කට් හදන. හැමදාමත් වොෂින් මැෂින් හදනවා. දම් රෝල නම් නේද? හැමදාමත් සෝෆා හදනවා. සරි. සම් So they are for they are not uh, project organizations. Really, they are can be temporary project, but they are product normal manufacturing organization. But civil engineering building ma khada na building ma thadi varai the building bar do na the main thana ke building ma khada. So same thing software development, right? So we are we need different organizational structures for different different uh, business organizations. Okay. Uh, then of course we have the organizational culture. So that is very very important things. अरे आप ये मिनिस्ट्रो काल्च के लिए ताकि नहीं निकलता है। नहीं था था प्रसिद्ध खतरन दरिया का ही। आप ये मिनिस्ट्रो काल्च के लिए ताकि नहीं आंधी ने पालन देने में दिया भी। ऐसे में नहीं दाबी क्या ना मुस्लिम में तो प्यार दाना राहुल वावा ना अरे देवलाय पोर्टुआती है ना नहीं तो माल गाहना � जपनीसोना जपनीस म्यूजिक काल चेक किया ना बाद में वेला वाटे वाटे करना वाह दे वर्क कॉन टाइम राइट दे आर वेरी पोलाइट राइट सो दे आर रियली कॉन्शियस अबाउट क्वालिटी दैट इज द कल्चर ऑफ जापानीज पीपल राइट दैट इज द कल्चर ऑफ जापानीज पीपल राइट फॉर एग्जांपल व्हाट इज द कल्चर ऑफ चाइनीज पीपल सो दे आर हार्ड वर्किंग सो दे आर दे आर हाई प्राइड अबाउट देमसेल्फ राइट सो दैट इज द कल्चर ऑफ चाइनीज पीपल Right. So, but then what is the culture of Sri Lankan people? You know, local local culture na kalbaran. Aaj apni then me culture ke maha khala karne ne. Wo ko wahan na tamai kya ne? Apni apni jati kya dumanti na wa? Apni single kata kar na? Me 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 ko the me khala karne culture ke kya ne? Bhai katak kela. Thani boru ni school lugar na ne? Apne culture ke tamai mukadde. Villa aur vedak karan ne? Aaj vedak karod maha. अरे आप क्या गोम गोडा अरे गोम की मंगार अनेक अकमति अंदा अरे मेलो क्वालिटी अरे मेलो क्वालिटी अकना कर देखा मुनारी गुड दाग इतना बला अरे अन्न अपे का बेलावाट डर अने मिनी बस नग्गट बस बस नग्गेला ड्रैवर के सतुट मूड पोल कल गहना बस गेला मन बला बस अन्न तो बस अरे नोगी निकान तैयार करी ना अरे ताटा मत ताटा में इन्हें दर में एक्सेलरेट कर कर अरे कोई चीज़ आप बेला वाटे ना तो बेला वाटे नहीं द राज्य आये थे ने इड गिया हम वैदक कर कर ना पुलवां द बैरी द राज्य आये थे ने समार पुतगली कर खाड़े के लिए हम समार में सुहिता के लिए हम आपी तराहा का � बड़ू अगर नहीं गया, है ना मुस्लिम मनुष्य एक मुद्दा देवर होता है, नहीं तो बीजल बाला ना मुस्लिम आये के काटे करे, एक उन्हें कालचे करता है, एक उन्हें ट्रेडिंग कालचे का हैदरा दिए ने, खावा दावत वाले से में इतने साले मारु साले नहीं है ये ना, अरे कोई हैं घरे बड़ू वाले लेजी नहीं है � That is culture. Likewise, every organization has a culture. एक ये कौन पे है ना? एक ये कौन पे है ना? मेरे को मूसर कल्चर का तो दिए ने, खाला का निकाल चेक का तो दिए ने, बहुत प्रसन्न है, आह प्रो प्रो पॉजिटिव, प्रोडक्टिव कल्चर का तो दिए ने, right? तो आह आह महाजन बैंक कोड के यहाँ पे है, महाजन बैंक के कल्चर का, आह संपद बैंक कोड के यहाँ पे है, so when you go to food city you see the food, culture of the food city when you go to satsasa you see the culture of the satsasa when you go to the apiko super center you see the culture of apiko super center when you go to kiel super you see the culture of kiel super so that is called organizational culture right so there are different ways people behave ek organization ekak ekak control wenawa ek ekata ganne e culture ekata hariyena ewa samarakena apita kochchara interview dammat 
මේ මේ දැන් මත ඉන්ටර්වියු එකෙන් ෆේල් වුණා කියලා. ඉතින් ඉන්ටර්වියු එකෙන් ෆේල් වෙන්නේ කේතුවක් එන්න පුළුවන් මොකද්ද? ඔයාව ඉන්ටර්වියු එකේ දී ගොන් තේන්නවා මේක මගේ අපේ කල්චර් එකට හරියන්නේ නැහැ. හරි මේක මම කැඳේ එක වගේ ඉන්නේ. හරි මේක මෙලෝ පොසිටිව් ගතියක් නැහැ. හරි මහ නෙගටිව් මිනිස්සෙක්. ඉතින් මේක ආවොත් මේ මේ කල්චර් එක කනවනේ. ඉතින් හරි ලව ගන්න නැහැ තමයි. ඊට පස්සේ ආ ගිහිලා සෙට් වෙනවා ආයෙ කල්චර් එකට හරියන ජොබ් තැනකට. ආ අන්න එතනින් එක වා බලෙමු සෙට් වෙනවා නැත්තම් ආයෙ සෙට් ගන්න. ආ මූ හොඳයි. හරි මේ මේ වගේ කැඳේ එක තමයි අපිටත් ඕනේ. හරි. मैनेजमेंटेशन Okay, so those are three main things when it comes to understanding a business or any other organization. Okay, right, right. I think today we discuss a lot of things, right? So I don't want to discuss too many things also because this is very important topic. Uh, as I told you, not for your semester one uh, to understand all the other things, uh, rest of the things in your other topics. So therefore, what we are going to do is we are going to stop at this point because I it, it needs a lot of time to discuss the different layers of management, like strategic, tactical, what are the different uh, things that they do, etc. Uh, and of course, different organizational structures like hierarchical, uh, team-oriented, project-oriented, organic structures. process and cons and no. so those things we will discuss next time apie uh, ethika discuss karala uh, we will move on to uh, some other concepts also uh, how we can introduce information systems etc okay right so we stop at this point so we are going to stop a little bit uh, early because when anyway, we will cover usually i do this in two sessions rather than just one session so therefore i don't want to uh, do everything in one day So we stop at this point. Uh, of course, those who like, now you can uh, get your reference books as well. Anyway, I uploaded the uh, today's note also. Now I have called this topic one and this one today's one topic two because those are your main topics. These are uh, some additional topics I did uh, as a uh, sort of a fill in the gap. Okay, so therefore this is your officially second topic. Okay, and of course you can get these reference books and. Uh, just have a look at it uh, because uh, it's always anyway if you are really interested if you really like this it subject it's not only about programming or database it's all about uh, this big uh, package right uh, project management management businesses everything is there okay that is why it is really interesting okay so i invite you to just download these things and have a look at it uh, as well uh, right so we'll stop at this point uh, so tomorrow we'll be doing uh, maybe a uh, math so i will i will let you know okay right thank you